Today we're in Austria and this is a project for a family with three kids and uh, it's about an existing building, an existing house that has gotten a new extension which was designed by another architect which I will name at the end of the video and so my mission here was to furnish the entire house and this is also in collaboration with uh, a good friend of mine who works as a furniture designer and I will be mentioning her company at the end of the video as well. So as this is a big project, I want to get right into it. So let's have a look. Okay, so uh, this gives you a bit of an overview here of the model. Uh, now, because I am an interior designer, I didn't really care so much about the exterior here. Uh, so this is just to give you a bit of an overview. You do have the uh, existing volume here on the right, and here on the left is going to be the extension of the project. Now, I do want to point out here already that we do have two types of entrances here. So we have the main entrance here in front of me, and then we do have a second entrance here on the right, which will be important later to explain to you the interior. So as we are entering here, we do uh, find ourselves in the entrance. Uh, this is where we will have a nice um, wardrobe here that frames this new window here, which is part of the extension. And so uh, here I kind of wanted to uh, have a darker element and yet play with the lighting by having this LED strip here, which will allow you to still have you know, lighting coming from the window even when it gets darker in the evening. Hi, my name is Sam and you're watching the Spaces Spice channel. For more details about my work, feel free to check my Instagram page. And now, back to the video. And for the rest here, the entrance is really meant to be quite open and light uh, while having the flexibility of the hangers uh, that you can add here, you know, just for the guests. Part of the extension is going to be a brand new kitchen. So this kitchen is mainly going to be for the guests. And so here on this side, we have a TV, you know, just to watch the news in the morning. We have a bit of a breakfast buffet station going on here, which complements the new kitchen here very well. And as nature and landscape is pretty important part of this, room here, I went as far as to use a, um, a dark tinted mirror as a backsplash, which also doubles the green outside. Yeah, and that's uh, pretty much it. So that's, it's a very biophilic palette. So it's very, uh, it's, it's really designed to enhance or highlight the plants, um, as I like to do this with a lot of my projects. So we're going to go right up the stairs here, which will lead us to the, uh, like the exact existing part of the building. Um, and before going to the living space, I want to talk to you about this hallway space here. So here initially, this is kind of a, um, a cross section point where the family members, they do really put some of their letters here, a lot of the, the paperwork. Sometimes they put some messages here on the, on the wall and they did have an, uh, like an existing pin wall here, but that was kind of cramped and, and filled with a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, visual information. This will be quite a visual part. I thought that we might as well make this not just functional, but also a bit more generous and also somewhat more aesthetically pleasing. So my idea is to have a rather generous pin board with a mirror here that can pivot, not pivot, but it can slide over it so that some of the bills that need to be paid can basically just be hidden, you know, it can just be easily tucked away with just one simple movement. I just came from the entrance. I wanted to show you now the other entrance that we have. So this is a bit of a particular space because um, initially this was an old kitchen before, so we did have access to the plumbing. And this is why the client decided to have this entrance um, doubling as a laundry kitchen. So this is also where the laundry will be done. So the challenge here was to make this space both functional yet welcoming. Uh, and this explains to you why it looks rather clean and polished for a laundry kitchen, basically. It also serves as a storage space for, for other things that you would otherwise need in the house. Uh, but basically, it is designed to be open. So here you could imagine having both coats and uh, jackets uh, being attached here on these hangers, but it could also be a way for you to dry up your clothes uh, if you don't want to put them in the in the drying uh, machine because the dryer and the laundry machine are tucked into these cabinets here because this is where we have the existing plumbing system. And then on this side here, I kind of wanted to keep this open and have a bit of a nice, beautiful mirror, which is where you can uh, see yourself just before leaving the house and it's also a nice feature that is visible from afar when you are in this hallway. So this kind of creates this nice depth and this beautiful composition. And then we come 
here to the living space. So for the living space here, we do have a second kitchen. This is going to be the more cozy, more private kitchen for the family. Basically, this is where the day-to-day -day eating is going to happen. It is also space for the kids to do their homework here. And it, it really is designed to be very social and very communicative. So, uh, you know, you do your homework here as a, as a kid. And at the same time, you can, I don't know, like talk to your mom or dad or whoever is cooking here. And then we do also here have a certain aspect of continuity that uh, that we wanted to keep. Um, and it is, it is kind of translated uh, through this bench that we have here in this corner, uh, which also doubles as uh, additional storage here underneath. So for example, the toys of the kids can just easily disappear here so that it don't have to lie around all the time and then this does transfer onto the countertop space which will become the kitchen here so here for the kitchen we did experiment a little bit with colors here you see it in a colder green color um, before I also experimented a little bit with a pet petroleum blue but since that the theme of this house is really like the greenery and, and, and like nature since that we are more on the countryside I felt like this choice was just a like a better decision than going with a more artificial bluish color. So uh, this was my personal favorite. And also this green color tends to really highlight those um, nice brass accents we have here with those door handles. And then after the kitchen, we are arriving in the living room. So here um, in this living room, we do have uh, some um, items that are existing. So these uh, shelf units here, these are actually cabinets. The doors are just being round and uh, I just kept them from the existing design that we had for the client, but I kind of wanted to have a more modern uh, interpretation of these items by creating this uh, three-dimensional uh, composition here. And then we are, arriving here with this very generous seating arrangement which also is very welcoming and creates a bit of a nest situation and it keeps you kind of like protected and enclosed while keeping it quite open here to the kitchen so it is really about finding the right balance between this entire living space so living room and kitchen being both open and yet finding those right boundaries or creating this clean zoning that I'm doing here uh, intentionally with the design of the sofa and the rug that is here underneath. We just came from this door here on the left. So now I'm going to go through that door over here. And so uh, on, on these two doors here, we do have uh, like uh, the, the wet spaces here on the left. We do have a small guest uh, toilet and then here on the right is going to be the master bathroom so these are still in progress um, now in this 3d model here for some reason uh, I don't have them here I, I, I had to put them in a different model because otherwise the file was uh, getting too big but uh, you will see in the renderings that um, here that was also the idea of playing with the depth by having uh, a feature wallpaper on the new bathtub which was uh, one of the client's wishes and so you see this feature wall being reflected onto the mirrors on the other side and in a way it does add to the entire composition of these two things that you have here so that it kind of becomes uh, intentionally a backdrop when you look yourself in the mirror and so the same strategy or the same idea is also being applied in the guest toilet and here it's it's very subtle you know it's really just a toilet but even here as well when you're washing your hands and look yourself into this uh, organic shape mirror you will also see this fun wallpaper behind you um, and so now I'm going up and we're going back to the modern extension like the new extension of the house and this is where we arrive in the main bedroom for the parents so here um, it's not a typical master bedroom since that we do not have an attached or suite uh, bathroom but it is definitely a generous one because here again the main uh, like the main focus is really the outside which is why they have this very uh, generous access to the outside here and, and you can tell by the balcony or by the architecture of this how how really having an outdoor space was like an obvious priority of this project. What was important for me is that as you enter is that you do have an easy access to the outside, both through this door over here and the door here on the left. And for the rest, the furniture is also rather in the back. We do not have a walk-in closet here. It was just not um, sufficiently big for that, but we do have, um, you know, um, like wardrobes that are both on the left side here and the right side of it there. 
and um, that should give us sufficient space for uh, storing our clothes here. And then I did want to leave some empty space here on the right because it just it would just make the entire space more you know, more airy, more spacious. Yeah, another thing here, just before I continue, you will have just here on this wardrobe a mirror here, which also intentionally doubles the big window, which is one of the main selling point of this room. So uh, I just like to intentionally doubling it by having a mirror just here close by, just to really give you this impression of a longer window without you having to see yourself when you wake up every morning. So that's why there's no mirror in front of the bed, but really just here where it should be, in my opinion. So yeah, that's about it. So here again, surprise effect, we go back to the hallway or to the staircase, and this is where we will have this nice jungle wallpaper. And as this is a bit of a jungle theme, I thought it would be nice to have those more organic uh, pendant lamps that are uh, hanging here at different heights, just to have a bit of a more relaxed uh, design here. And then, um, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty fun because it's something that you really only see when you go back down. And you see here we are going back to this center point of the house, which was uh, this uh, console table with the pinboard that I told you before. And so then, last but not least, we are arriving at the last floor of the house. So now we're going back to the existing building. Uh, and this is where we're gonna have the space for the kids. So we are having three kids here. So uh, I'm gonna start with the, uh, with the girl's room. She is the youngest. I think she's younger than five. I think by now maybe she's older. I tried to design this accordingly. And it was also wanted that this should have a bit more of a girly theme. And uh, since that I love pink anyway, I was like, yes, sure, let's do this. So uh, here in my model, for some reason, the textures, they're not uh, really correct. But uh, in the renderings you see, uh, how it is meant to look like. In reality, I designed it in a way so that I'm really playing with those sloped ceiling. I think that was really the most challenging part for this entire floor here, is that we do have this uh, roof structure and uh, my job here was to really try to put the storage units in the most efficient way possible. So now I kind of wanted to show you the kids room number two. There we go, the door is already opening. So this room here also, I. Um, I, I really designed it in a very simple manner. So it's a single bed and um, I, I wanted to still use standardized measurement for cabinets to make this also cost effective afterwards. For the rest here, it was also about trying to play with whatever I have. So I have these, uh, these pillars here, which I can obviously not remove. So I'm trying to uh, really adapt as best as I can by having the drawers uh, adapted to this. And then I finally have a desk here at the end. And yeah, I it, here, here this is still a bit uh, in progress, so this is why it's not as finished. But um, I, yeah, I'm showing you this still here because I feel like it has already enough detailing to show you uh, this here on YouTube. Finally, we are arriving here at the uh, kids' room here. So this is a young teenager. <clears throat> which is why it has a bit more of an adult vibe. Um, so here we have uh, a bigger bed uh, on this side, and then we have another storage unit here, which is also more finished and developed in the renderings. Um, and then on this side here, we have built-in storage that I've added, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much about it for this room here. Um, Right, and then there are two more rooms left and then we're done. So uh, I will show you quickly the guest room, which is right here next to the stairs. So the guest room is really simple. Uh, I was also here, I added built-in storage into this niche uh, and I tried to adapt it as best as I can with the uh, sloped seatings that I have. And I just kept in mind the idea of having a convertible sofa here, which opens up uh, so that, you know, two people can easily fit here. The last room of this floor here is the bathroom. So again, we are here on the kids' floor. So the bathroom also has a bit of a, you know, a playful design, yet I still wanted to keep it spacious and clean. So what I've done is to keep a, uh, a neutral color palette here by using natural materials here, like the wooden veneer here for the fronts of the drawer. And then we do have here a bit of a laundry section um, where you can also easily throw your clothes away in these um, openings here. And then I, I did do this in a way so that the doors can still barely open here without knocking uh, against, oops, uh, without knocking against the toilet. 
And then, um, yeah, it is actually a bit narrow. So I had to work a bit with optical illusions here by using, uh, by, by consciously using glass here in the shower cabin so that it doesn't feel too crammed. And um, I also wanted to add a bit of variety by using a different uh, types of tiles. And then for me, the most important part of this bathroom was really to uh, to have actually this feel of, of this being a generous room when you stand in front of this mirror here. So uh, here again, I am using this trick with the wallpaper that I have mentioned before. So basically you look yourself into a mirror and then the wallpaper becomes a bit of a backdrop when you look yourself in it. And then here we have a bit of a, a playful jungle theme again, which I think works pretty well with the colors. And uh, I'm further highlighting this so-called depth by using two types of mirror here. So one here there's a circular one where you look yourself just to you know get ready and stuff and then here on the left you do have a second mirror which is a tinted one and as it is in the back it just you know adds again more depth basically um and then all of this is highlighted with the led around it which gives you nice lighting for your face and you get this little circle in your eyes which i think is pretty fun and um yeah and then we have the shower over here and that is uh, pretty much it for this room. It's a, it's quite a huge project, actually. Uh, how long was this? Okay, this was half an hour. I'm gonna have to edit out a lot of this. About the companies that have worked on this project here for the extension, this was an architect called Spazio 3 or Spazio 3 in Austrian pronunciation. And um, they have taken care of the engineering and the design of the extension here. And then last but not least, special credits are going here to one of my best friends who is a furniture designer slash CEO of her own company called The the Handel is a furniture company in Austria that produces Austrian furniture, so it's all made in Austria and uh, they are a little bit more on the high-end segment, but as she is, like me, an advocate for sustainable design, their furniture will be lasting. So it's really more of a simple, functional and especially timeless style and it always involves really the taste and the preferences of the clients, no matter how crazy they are. And this this is why I have collaborated with her so that the client can be sure that the cabinets that are being chosen really do match their style and also match their lifestyle. And on that note, I hope that you liked it. Let me know what could be changed, what could be improved because this is still in progress. So uh, the more feedback, the better. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, as usual, thank you for watching. Enjoy your space and see you next time.